Combat sports had been going through a low period this summer but then bang, August 10 provided a night to remember as two live boxing events in the United States delivered the sports fight of the year, knockout of the year, and upset of the year on the same night. Givensport attended the Golden Boy Promotions event at Michelob Ultra Arena in Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, and saw Virgil Ortiz overcome two knockdowns. In the first round, and again in the eighth. To finish. Strong and edge a majority decision win over Sarai Bohachuk in a throwback war. On the same night, at Tingley Coliseum in Albuquerque. New Mexico, Angelo Leo scored a 10th round knockout over Venado Lopez to win the IBF featherweight world title in thrilling fashion. Boxing promoters Tom Loeffler of 360 Promotions and Golden Boy Promotions founder Oscar de la Hoya told Givensport throughout the week that their fighters, Bohachuk and Ortiz, respectively, would near enough guarantee a fight of the year contender. They were not wrong. Though many in the industry expected an explosive finish. What fans got was just as epic, as it produced a back and forth battle on the inside, punishing punches to the body. And knockdown drama. CompuBox data sent to Givensport showed Ortiz out, landed Bohachuk in 8 of the 12 rounds, and connected with 265 shots from 747 thrown. Compared to the 225 from 832 for Bohachuk. Bohachuk, meanwhile, implied a robbery had taken place. Elsewhere in the US. Leo became a two-weight boxing world champion in style as he punched the sweat off Venado's head with a left hook that laid his opponent onto the canvas. Unconscious on his back, having scrambled his senses. It was a devastating finish. One which yielded Leo the twelfth knockout. From 25 wins against just one defeat to fellow champion Stephen Fulton, a fight that he was competitive in. Boxings. Big Knight arrived at the same time as a substandard UFC show at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas. There were only three finishes. All by submission, from the 10 fight card which heavyweight fighters Sergei Spivak and Marcin Tibura headlined. Spivak submitted Tibura with a first round armbar. 